And again, you know, so I'm going to pull up this one that we've been working on right here. Um, if you go over to bursting, there's a bursting tab right here. The bursting tab, if you notice, I, I pick the field that I burst by. So bursting means create a report instance for every different value of this field. So in this circumstance, what I'm going to do is I am going to burst by, um, why don't I burst it by department ID? So now I'm bursting by department ID. One of the other things that I can do is I can actually pick my template by values as well. Now the thing is, my so what I could do is I literally could go through and say, all right, let's go through and do this by location. And so from the perspective of picking the location, what I can do here is um, pick the values. So maybe for the first value, I want it to be KU, um, so what was the one we just did? KUDE00. I actually, this is case sensitive, so and maybe I'll have one go with that. Maybe I'll have the second one go KU and Y zero zero. And that one will be the one with the chart. So maybe maybe basically the uh, the location, you know, I want one with the chart, one without. So picking my template. I'm also bursting by department ID, so I can pick my table. And so let's see if I can find the one that I had created that was a security joint table. I did not see that. So let's see. Um, This may or may not work. Uh, so let's see, department. What I'm trying to do. So, so I picked the table. The uh, so basically the field that I'm going to link up the security field is going to be department I. Uh, Manager ID, that's going to be user ID. So I can go through. This table actually maps a, um, you know, so that's where I get that. And then I basically can map the department ID, the security join table to the department ID in my, in my results. And, that, and so that's how I actually do my bursting. So I said burst by department ID, use this table to identify who should have access to that. And then what field contains the user ID or, or other aspects of that, and then do that. So then I can go through, I can run it, it'll burst it out to the appropriate people. And so I'm actually doing two things at once because I'm also having the data pick what template to apply since I have two templates. So um, we're right up at the top of the hour. So uh, as opposed to spending more time running reports, I think what I'd like to do is just see if there are any big questions that have jumped up. Um, so actually, here's a good question that just came up right now about bursting by more than one field. So if I need to burst by more than one field, do I have to create a view of the concatenated fields and burst by this one? And the answer is yes. Um, basically, XML Publisher and the way that, we, that this is done here it's a single field that you're bursting by. So if you need to have two, uh, two fields combined, because there's a parent-child relationship implied between the two of them, or you want to do the permutations of those, then yes, you're going to have to uh, concatenate them together. Um, and you, you actually don't have to create a view to do, the, to do that. Um, you can actually do that through uh, an expression in the query that you use. So the nice thing about PeopleSoft Query is that you can create expressions, take two fields, concatenate them together in there, which means you don't have to do a data change to that. Um, all right, let's see. Um, 
want to run the report. As, Larry, know, there's, a, there's actually a comment. That, <clears throat> there's actually a comment that might be worth making or for you to address, and, and it is connected query does not show up. In, in reporting tools, it's something that has to be enabled by the PS Security Administrator. So, um, well, yeah, so the connected, but I, but I actually do think that they were right about People Tools 850 versus 850. I think so. I think you're right. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, because basically it does, have, you know, all of these pages here for PeopleSoft, you know, all these pages for XML Publisher and Connected Query. You know, they have standard permissions and rules for those. And so, um, you know, if you aren't seeing it and you expect to see it, um, you know, then that's, that's a key piece. And, the, and one of the nice things that you could do just to make sure is um, if you have application designer access to People Tools 849, um, you can actually see if the connected query pages actually show up in there. So there's a menu for that. So you can actually if I go to connected query. Connected Query Manager. Uh, I'm going to save this just for the just so I don't lose it. So if I go Reporting Tools, Connected Query, Connected Query Manager, one of the things that you'll notice um, if I hover over, and it's kind of hard to see. So let's do this. Copy link location. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull up a. Notepad editor. So, and then let me resize this so it's a little bit bigger. So, let's see, control plus. Let's keep doing this. Oh, yeah, I'll have to do that. But anyway, um, so if I go through, and this is still saying query manager. Okay, so I guess it does show up in query manager. So, if you notice, the component name that you need to look for to find out uh, what it what the connected query piece is is PSCONQRS. So um, that's the piece that you need to make sure that is granted to the appropriate permission list. And if you're on People Tools 849, do it just just do you know an app designer file open component and then look for PSCONQRS. If you find it, then then you've got it. But like I said, we'll we'll, we'll take a look and, and post those results as well. So uh, so one of the questions: Does the plugin support Office 2010 yet? Actually, I'm using Office 2010 in this environment, so uh, it definitely does support that. So okay, well, what I wanted to do: Thank you, everybody, for joining today. And as Hendricks had mentioned. We will be posting this webinar, uh, the results, on our YouTube channel within the next couple of days. And we'll be putting a blog entry with that, and then any questions that we think need to be answered as well. So thank you, everyone, for joining us.